Live from across the tri-states, this is KHQA This Morning. It's your news now. Well, Kristen Aguirre is in uh, the tri-states this morning, live at the Windsong Anchors in Camp Point. I know, I call this one of Adams County's best kept secrets. Kristen, what is going on? Good morning. Well, last time we were here at the Scale House on Windsong Anchors, we were talking weddings, but this time we're tossing the bride and groom and we're talking another crafty project. So what are we going to be doing this morning? We're going to work on stained glass. And you and your wife, Shelly, actually have classes here um, mm -hmm. for uh, stained glass mm -hmm. and it's for beginners. How did you guys get into creating stained glass windows? Well, we, we did it uh, ourselves as a date. Uh, oh. We <laughs> we took uh, took classes and and just uh, we had several weeks that way we could just go out and learn something new together and it was really a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. So when did you start holding classes here? Um, well, just uh, I suppose a couple of years ago, um, just very very occasionally, and uh, we just put it on on Facebook and anybody that signs up can come. Now I want Mark to see if he can get uh, some of these. Now Shelley actually created these stained glass windows here, right? Yes, they're beautiful and they look very intricate. Now, do you have to be an artist to know how to create? these well she's she's definitely an artist but but a person who's interested in crafts can work on this and and learn the skill and that's one thing i like about it because i'm not an artist so mm -hmm. you can you can learn to cut glass and and grind glass which we're going to try to teach you some of that this morning too now is it is it hard is it as hard as it looks because looking at it i think i definitely cannot do that it looks very intimidating but yes. one one of the fun parts about the class is people get a chance to do something they didn't think they could do, and it's exciting, especially for adults to learn a new skill. Well, I am definitely excited. So coming up later in the show, we're going to get started. We're going to show you how you can make something as intricate as a stained glass window. I'm all for it. That's so much fun. It does. It, it does look very intricate, but I'm sure there's an easy way to do it. Yeah. Kristen Aguirre is out uh, in the Tri-States at Windsong Acres in Camp Point. She's getting ready to love what she's doing. I know. She's learning about craft classes that the owners hold there today at Stained Glass. Good morning. That's right. We're learning about stained glass windows and how to create your own stained glass windows here on Windsong Acres. So um, we're diving into the first part of the craft, which is kind of getting the cutting down. So what do we have to do first? Well, you take a, you take a glass cutter and we'll just have you practice just making some scores. You can hear it sing a little bit. So Ooh, for people who don't like the sound, nails on a chalkboard. It sounds a little bit like that, but a you, little get, bit. you get used to it. You it's, a more, to it. it's a more gentle version. Okay. Go ahead and make some scores there. Just experiment. This is cheap glass Oops. and it won't hurt if you, there you go, perfect. That's good. Good. Okay. Now, take these, uh, these pliers, you can line up this little black line with a score. Okay. And give it a pinch and and it's kind of steady. Go ahead. Perfect. So there, just right along the score. Go ahead. And now, can it. you can you mess this up any any anyway? Um, yep, glass oh. can break. <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna say no. Yep, glass can break, and uh, you can have to start over. But that's a good thing about stained glass is it's uh, it's made up of broken pieces all put back together. So you save your scraps. You can, might be able to reuse them another time. Oh, so you could reuse any of your mistakes. Yes, that's a good part about it. Now, well, the other uh, more difficult part is actually making a circle. Yes. Okay. Well, to make a circle. You draw first. You draw half of it on there. We've already etched this part, and I'll go ahead and quickly put this etch line right on here. But I'll let you try to break it. Here, I'll see if you can start right here and break right, and see, see if you if can, I can get this really quick. See if I can break this. Yeah, let's try it. We'll see. It's wait. This is expensive glass, so I'm nervous. No, it's okay. It's. We got it on sale. Oh, yes. <laughs> All right, we're going to continue to practice this circle here. And coming up next, we're going to continue to show you the process of how to create your very own stained glass window. <laughs> Too much fun. Great job, Chris. Otherwise, she might have to be buying her artwork. Yeah. At point, she's at their scale house. Yeah, messing with some uh, fun artsy crafts, including making stained glass. Which is one of those arts that's nice. Yeah. Might show her first a little bit. Good yeah. morning. Yeah. Well, we are here. We're learning all about the stained glass windows and how you can create your own. Now, it gets a little crazy here, so we have to make sure we have our glasses on. So we went ahead and learned how to go ahead and cut the glass. And one of the hardest parts is actually making a circle, you said. Yes. So we got that, mm -hmm. we got that down. So when people are first doing this, what are yes. some tips you have for them? Well, one thing is you have to be 
a little bold because when you break glass, we're always told not to break glass, but you're going to break glass and you have to do it in a controlled way, make it break where you want. But it doesn't always go perfectly. Sometimes you have sharp edges that you might want to grind down. And so we actually had, uh, we made a circle, and this one's very nice, but mine didn't come out or uh, like this. Mine had a little bit of a few edges. So Shelly yeah. is going to show us how you can grind them down. So Shelly, go on and go ahead and show us. Yes, this one has a couple of little jagged pieces on it still, and we want to get those smoothed down, and that's what the grinder is for. Okay. So we know we just want to embrace those sharp Just edges. to smooth them out a little mm -hmm. bit. Okay. So turn on the grinder here. In Camp Point today, and uh, she is getting crafty. Yeah, she's over at Windsong Acres. What are you doing out there, Kristen? Good morning. We're learning all about the stained glass class for beginners here, and we're live in the Scale House on Winsong Acres. So earlier we showed you the steps to kind of get to making your own stained glass window. Now, what step are we at next? Well, once you have the pieces of glass, then you want to take the lead, and you're going to have to wrap it around uh, around the piece. You want to give that a try? It's yeah, quite soft, it as is, you can it see. It feels like li liquid almost. And so we're just going to go ahead. It's so easy. You could just go ahead and just go right ahead. Just r just wrap. bend the lead right around the glass. Perfect. See, just like that. And then you're going to right. And then we're going to know where to cut it. Mm -hmm. We'll just make a little mark on there and use these. These are called lead nippers. And lead nippers. Nippers. I just nip it. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> just, just go, ahead go ahead and cut it right off there. That's sort of a quick way of getting it. Yeah. And so then you put it all together and you're kind of given and given then this. And then you get something like this. So now let's get to the fun part. Okay. Sotty. You want to solder, yeah, solder it. You take this stuff. It's called flux. And you, I'm going to go ahead and, and just what brush does those flux edges. Do? Flux um, just helps the solder uh, flow freely. So go ahead and grab the solder this iron is carefully. Very, very yes. Hot. Very hot. So here's this. And go ahead and see if you can solder that, that right there. Push right down on it. And then pull. The, good, got it. Ooh. You want to do another one? That's a big one, so put plenty of solder on. You got it. Good. And there's one more. Oh, one more. Yes. Yeah. You're getting it. Just like a pro. There good. you go. Now we're putting it together. <laughs> now coming up next, we're going to hear from some people that actually took the class here and see if you're interested in taking away some details on how you can join. I think I'm um, interested. I am too. We're going to have a KHQA party over at One Song Acres. Okay. okay. Well, good morning. Now, we have all seen stained glass windows about how beautiful, but now here at Winsong Acres, they are teaching you how you can make it yourself. They have a class for beginners. So, I'm already even showing you a sneak peek at what you can expect if you take the class. Now, we're going to hear from some people that actually have already gone through the process. So, with me now is Jill. Wow. Jill, tell me a little bit about what you're working on. So, um, this is a, a flower, and it was uh, kind of our next, our second step, if you will, in the process of jumping into the, the curves, taking the curves on aggressively and, and the circle. So Jeff and Shelly really helped us work through that process now, because it jumps fast. It's beautiful. Now, how Thank long you. did it take you to do this? Um, I've probably worked on it about two weeks, probably two or three classes. And um, I, I don't consider myself a perfectionist, but the solder kind of brings that out in me. Now, so. what is the reason you wanted to take part in this class? Oh, you know, I've always wanted to, to do stained glass and understand the process. And, you know, you see stained glass every place. And, and uh, when I heard that they were going to do the class, I just was very excited to have this opportunity. All right, now we have a couple back here. Now you guys are also working on something. We'll kind of get a we'll get a sh shot of that, and we'll put it on KHQ News at five. Um, and it's very beautiful and intricate. Tell us a little bit about what you're working on. Um, it's a sunset or a sunrise, whichever you want. It's just it has a lot of curves to it. And what's the reason you decided to take part in the class? We've been looking for a stained glass class for a long time, and when we moved here and. Our son takes art classes here. Um, I asked Shelly about all the stained glass, and she said that someday they had hoped to, and then they let me know about it when it came around. What's your favorite part of the class? Um, picking out the glass, actually. I love to put all the colors together. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, what about you? Do you take part in the class with her as well? Yeah, yep. I've got my own projects. We actually are doing it kind of like a... Not exactly a date thing, oh. but like the instructors, it's, it's so, really nice. So that's a great idea for couples out there. Have a date night and come out here and, and make a stained glass window. Now, for more tips on the class, you can go ahead and visit our website at connecttristates.com. We'll have more information on this class. You Make sure you check out KHQA News at 5.
A date night, good idea. I was thinking more maybe like a mother-daughter kind of bondy time. Yeah. But she's just doing this stained glass art that's unbelievable. Yeah, if you haven't been, it's one of Adams County's best kept secrets. Okay, we're coming back in. Good morning. Now, bef uh, before the break, I went ahead and showed you our my final piece that Jeff and Shelly helped me make. Looks absolutely beautiful. Now, after you're done, um, kind of getting the basics down with this, uh, you can move on to some more intricate things. Yes, you just use the same principles and just do a lot more pieces. Something more like this. Now, Shelly is actually she is very interested in things like this. Now, she uh, what did she do here in the house? Well, she's done a whole bunch of windows here. This is actually one that she did for a door. So this was for a, this one she has actually finished. That's what all the numbers are for. And she actually has done 15 of the windows here in the house. And you can get a sneak peek at those if you check out KHQ News at 5. But Shelly, what's your favorite part of creating all of these beautiful windows? I'm kind of like Julie. I enjoy picking out the glass. And that's very inspiring as to how it um, relates to the pattern. So... Now, you said something a little bit um, kind of philosophical earlier. Now, it's yeah. really great to put all the broken pieces together, right? Yes, I love that. I mean, it's just, yeah. uh, you see, you keep every little piece, even if it breaks, because you might find a use for it later. You can make it part of the whole, and when the sun shines through, it's just beautiful. Now, if people want to come and try out your class, what can they do? Um, just get on, on uh, Winsong Acres on Facebook and just l leave us a note. They'd be interested in a class, and then we'll s let them know when the next available one would be. <laughs> all right, you can also check out uh, connecttristates.com. We'll go ahead and link you to all that. Now, I want to know if you've ever made a stained glass window. Make sure you tweet me out at Kristen Gear or find me on Facebook, and uh, we'll go ahead and post those. I think we're going to have to sign up for the class. They're beautiful. They really I know. Are. I